My friend John, what are you doing? Nothing much, dear. I was trying to solve the puzzle. Good. Does the puzzle interest you? A lot, friend. Very good. I think you would become a very good engineer then. Excuse me, friend. I don't like machines. But you are so good at mathematics. I thought you would like engineering. No, dear. I'm highly interested in flying the airplanes and want to become a professional pilot. Oh, pilot? Interesting. So, what do you know about this field? Initially, you have to undergo pilot training to obtain pilot's license, like student pilot license, private pilot license, commercial pilot license, and ATPL, that is airline transport pilot license, and many more. Oh, that's a lot as a training. After all, it's a complete practical field. What is this ATPL kind of thing? Even you seem to be really interested in this field. Anyways, I have a complete guide video on it. How about watching it? Yeah, sure. It would be great idea to know about it. Hello everyone, me and my friend welcome you to our YouTube channel Easy Evasion. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic and great. So today in this video we will talk about DGCA requirements to obtain ADPL license. So without further delay, let's get started. Requirement is age. He shall be not less than 21 years of age on the date of application. Education qualification. He shall have passed 10 plus 2 with physics and mathematics or equivalent examination from a recognized board or university. Medical standard should be on the basis of compliance with the requirements as notified by Director General under Rule 39B. Knowledge requirement includes he shall pass a written and oral examination in air regulation, air navigation, avionics, radio aids and instrument, aviation metrology and aircraft and engine and significant exam for interpretation of oral and visual signal as per syllabus prescribed by Director General. However, current CPL holders shall not require to pass AREX and senior CPL holders shall not require to pass any exam. Covering work experience, he shall produce evidence of minimum 1500 hours of flight time as a pilot of an airplane and his total flying experience shall include. Now there are 4 points. Number 1. Minimum 250 hours of flight time as pilot in command or as co-pilot performing under the supervision of a pilot who fulfills the flying experience requirements of a check pilot, of which at least 100 hours out of this shall be cross-country flight time including minimum 50 hours of flight time by night. Point number 2. Minimum 500 hours of total cross-country flight time. Number 3. Minimum 100 hours of flight time by night. Number 4 is minimum 75 hours of instrument time under actual or simulated instrument conditions of which minimum 50 hours shall be on actual flight. And last fifth point, minimum 20 hours of flight time completed within a period of 6 months immediately preceding the date of application for the license. Other requirements includes he should be holder of a commercial or a senior commercial pilot license. However, this will not be applicable for the issue of ATPL to a pilot from armed force who otherwise meet the requirements. He shall have a current instrument rating on a multi-engine aircraft and he shall be in position of a current FRTO license for operation of radio telephone apparatus on board an aircraft issued by Director General. Talking about skills, the demonstration of competency to perform by day and night the procedures and maneuvers prescribed in the syllabus to the satisfaction of the examiner on the type of multi-engine airplanes to which the application for the license relates within a period of 6 months immediately preceding the date of application. The Director General may however allow skill test to be carried out on approved zero flight time training simulator level D for the type of aircraft. Important note, current CPL or senior CPL holders shall not require to undergo general flying test for the issue of ATPL provided the license is issued on the type as the case may be included in aircraft rating of CPL or as CPL and pilot possess 10 hours of experience as PIC or 20 hours of co-pilot within 6 months. The license shall be valid for period as specified in Rule 39C. The renewal of license demands evidence of four important points. Number one, undergone a medical examination. Number two, minimum 10 hours flight time as PIC and 50% of co-pilot hours can be considered as PIC. 
विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स इमीडिएटली प्रिजिडिंग द डेट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन फॉर रिनीवल और कंप्लीटिंग द फ्लाइंग टेस्ट बाई डे एंड बाई नाइट नंबर थ्री करंट एफ आर टी ओ एल नंबर फोर करंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट रेटिंग ऑन द मल्टी इंजिन एयरक्राफ्ट नॉलेज स्टॉक अबाउट रेटिंग्स दे आर थ्री डिफरेंट रेटिंग्स नंबर वन इज एयरक्राफ्ट रेटिंग द लाइसेंस सॉल इंडिकेट द क्लास एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन्स द होल्डर इज एंटाइटल टू फ्लाई एंड ओपन रेटिंग फॉर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ एयरप्लेन्स हैविंग एन ऑल ऑफ वेट नॉट एक्सीडिंग फाइव थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड के जीज मे ऑल्सो बी ग्रांटेड इफ ही हैज कम्प्लीटेड मिनिमम वन थाउजेंड आवर्स ऑफ फ्लाइट टाइम एज पी आई सी ऑन एनी एयरप्लेन हैविंग एन ऑल ऑफ वेट एक्सीडिंग फोर्टीन थाउजेंड के जीज नंबर टू इज इंस्ट्रक्टर रेटिंग इंस्ट्रक्टर रेटिंग एंटाइटल्स द होल्डर टू इम्पार्ट फ्लाइंग इंस्ट्रक्शन The privileges and condition for the issue of these ratings are laid down in section Q and R. Number three is instrument rating. No separate instrument rating is provided in the license. The privileges of instrument rating are included in the privileges of the license, provided the instrument flying test have been carried out as per conditions laid down by Director General. Condition for validity and renewal of instrument rating shall be as are laid in section O of the schedule. Now, in order to be a Pilot in command or a co-pilot of a transport airplane having an all-up weight exceeding 5,700 kgs, the license holder shall be required to undergo appropriate proficiency check as specified by the Director General in the respect of the type of airplane to be flown. Validity of proficiency check is six months from the date of check and shall be renewed for further period of six months at a time. In case of renewal the period of validity shall commence from the date of expiry of the previous validity provided that the check has been carried out within 2 months preceding the date of expiry Now the final point is privileges of the license which will be based on rules 939B 39C and 42 Number 1 is to exercise the privileges of a CPL and PPL Now number 2 includes three important points to act as a pilot in command of an airplane having an all up weight exceeding 5700 kg which is entered in aircraft rating of his license subject to prior compliance with the following conditions number 1 is minimum 100 hours of flight time as a co-pilot followed by 10 consecutive satisfactory route checks of which minimum 5 shall be by night under the supervision of check pilot performing the duties and responsibility of a pilot in command and demonstrated his competency to fly as a pilot in command to the satisfaction of director general Now the required number of route checks may be reduced to 6 out of which at least 3 shall be by night in case the pilot having previous experience of at least 100 hours as PIC of transport airplanes having all up weight exceeding 5700 kg. Number 2 involves proficiency checks to be carried out within preceding 6 months of the intended flight. And third point is he shall be in possession of a current instrument rating before operating any IFR flight.